Hello, I'm going to tell you a story called The Tree by Pardor Oscarson. Now, have a look at the cover. There is a rabbit and a dog. The rabbit looks a little bit surprised or, or, or indifferent. He or she is carrying a carrot. And the dog is wearing a cape. So he might have superpowers. From the back cover, we know that Hilbert tells Bob something surprising and that they are friends. Let's see. The tree is a carrot by Bardur Oscarson. We can see the rabbit called Bob and the tree. Bob is carrying a carrot. He is thinking, what is over there? I never visited the tree. I am curious. He is thinking and thinking of possibilities. He is afraid that a dog would appear. Here comes his friend. Hilbert is a dog, but Hilbert is his friend. Hilbert says, Hello, Bob. What are you doing? I am thinking. I am curious about the tree. Oh, says Bob. It's not really interesting. So Bob says, did you visit the tree? Oh yes, many, many times. Really? Look, he's very surprised. Really? You visited the tree? Oh yes, I visited the tree and many, many more places. Really? Says Bob. Look, he's even more surprised. Yes, I visited the tree and I visited all the world. All the world, all the countries. Europe and Africa and North America and the Antarctica and Australia and Asia and China, all over the, all the world. Really? How come? I visited all the world because I can fly. I can fly. Can you fly? Bob was very suspicious. Hmm, dogs cannot fly. Hilbert, says Bob, show me, show me how you can fly.
Bob says, uh, Hilbert says, I walk and then I run and then I fly. I have always been able to fly, all my life. Bob doesn't believe him. Bob is very, very suspicious of a dog flying. So he says, show me. I want to see how you can fly. But Hilbert says, I am too tired. I have been flying all morning. Now I'm tired. Oh, come on. Show me a little bit. Go up and down. But Hilbert says, mm, I'm too tired. Maybe some other time. Fine, said Bob. They look at each other and Hilbert walks away. And he goes to the shops to buy some food. Bob looks at the tree and is thinking. He goes home. The end. What do you think Bob does at home? Do you think he googles to discover what is on the other what is on the other side of the tree? Does he call his friend? What does he do? What would you do if you were Bob? Thank you for listening.